Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you Facebook Messenger for Android. This is a new application from the same people who make the Facebook application, um, Facebook, so it's an official application. And what it basically allows you to do is to read messages um, from your Facebook account and kind of gives you like a uh, sort of Blackberry Messenger functionality. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that I'll say kind of annoys me about it is that you don't have... <coughs> um, you know, like uh, an online uh, list, so you can't see who who's online through your friends. But you do get, as you can see here, you have your chat messages. Um, you do get uh, who's speaking to you at the moment, and you do get like push notifications. So that's it's pretty useful, but it's kind of annoying that you can't see who's online because you're more likely to speak to someone if you can see that they're online. You know, and it might remind you of something you had to speak to them about. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the application. So you push or pull up to refresh um, and it will update uh, your messages um, in the corner here it tells you when the message last message was received if you go on to um, say one of the messages it's kinda like an iPhone uh, message like interface you can add pictures so you can send pictures to people you can also add your location by tapping this little thing here if you take that off it won't send your location um, it tells you in the corner next to the timestamp uh, whether it's been sent from a mobile or a computer, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see some of the settings here. So settings for individual conversations, or you can actually change the settings for um, every conversation as a whole. So on this one, you can set alerts on. So this will be your push notifications, which will come in the drop-down bar at the top. Um, it tells you who else is in this conversation, and also a map of where you are at the moment which is pretty cool um, so if you press the top left here the F for Facebook it'll take you back to the main list um, I'll just take you through some of the other things uh, In if you press the menu button you get a list of things here so settings, refresh, new message, help, about and log out um, if you don't log out and you leave your internet connection active so you leave your 3G or uh, you Edge or GPRS, GPS even, GP, no GPRS, whatever it is, you will get push notifications, but it's really just like a, a, the same as text messaging, so it didn't, doesn't really annoy me, um, it's probably better than text messaging really, because it's uh, quicker, you can send pictures um, for the same price, it's just because you're an internet fee, but if you've got a data plan then, you know, there's, there's nothing to worry about, so, if we're going to settings, you'll see some of the settings here. At the top, you've got alerts, so this is a global setting, um, which is different to the individual one I showed you before. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So, alerts on, you can change alerts off for an hour, alerts off until 8am. Um, you can play, choose to take the sound off, so the notification sound when a message arrives. You can choose to take vibration off. You can choose to make the light not blink, that's the LED light that comes on at the top of your phone. Um, you can change the ringtone of the notification. Um, you can turn the location settings off, but I keep them on because it can be useful. Um, and if you go to advanced settings, then it tells you the build number, and you can clear the cache, or you can clear the conversation cache or the image cache. So this is the first version. Um, I will leave a link in the description for you, so you can see uh, what it's like and try it for yourself. I'll leave the APK in there, so just transfer that over to your phone. Um, and click it and install it. Um, if you're in the UK, I don't think it's working at the moment. I had to download the uh, application online on my computer and then transfer it over to my phone because I don't think it actually supports um, UK network yet, uh, or you can't get it from the UK Android market, so you're just going to have to download it uh, this way and put it on your phone. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's a pretty cool application. Um, I think I can show you... Uh, this is what it looks like messaging. So, put yo. Uh, and like I said, I don't know if you can see that in the corner, there's a little phone uh, instead of a speech bubble like there is up there. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it, really. Um, if you want to check it out, then don't forget to um, look in the description as the download link will be there. If you want to ask a question about it, leave one in the comment section. And if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.